you've gotten to 10, 10, 20 million, mm -hmm. right? Why keep going now? You can buy anything you want. Is there something materialistic that is driving you forward or is it just work? Sport. I enjoy the sport. It, it, first of all, a couple of things. Uh, I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, do not derive any pleasure from buying myself stuff anymore. Right. Like there's, n I bought it like, okay, maybe cars. I've n I know I've never been really a car guy. My watch collection is $3 million. You know, I wear... You know, if you see me, the I, nicest clothes, you know, the like, nicest clothes. Dude, I mean, as you know, you know, we went shopping the other day, like I spent easy, like, th and I have a rule, which this sounds all ridiculous, but I'll get into my rule in a second. Um, $30,000 on, you know, a few pieces and my, you will never see me wear a brand ever. Like you'll never know how expensive, you know, uh, my things are. You'll see me in a jumper. It's a $4,000 Laura Piana <laughs> jumper. Like I like to be low key like that. Um, but you know, on that note, so I have a rule, I have to spend 20% of my income and I'm, I challenge you to do the same, right? Because if you're, if you're, you know, and this will be another eight figure year. So for me, my rule is like, yeah, like I should spend $150,000 a month. Also, I don't pay any taxes because I live in Dubai. So that, mm. that helps a lot. Um, but, uh, so for me, it's nothing material anymore. Like I, I, I spend more, I probably spent $150,000 on my mom's wardrobe last year, like just buying her shit. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't derive any pleasure from my, buying myself stuff anymore. So it's not materialistic. It's there's nothing I could, like people don't understand. Like when you're wealthy, it's not like you it's not like you get into your Lambo. And then like it's not like I look every minute. And I'm like, wow, I have a five hundred thousand dollar. Like you're just like it's nothing to you. Right. Yeah. You, your, your baseline changes so quickly. Um, so it's not that it's two things. And I, one I, was, I was actually thinking about earlier, I was like, where I am right now, where I have, you know, depending on the day, my investments like that, 10 to 10 to $15 million, you know, after tax in my investment portfolio, that's not like portfolio worth or whatever. Like that's if I need to liquidate everything, I could have that next week. Um, that's a really scary place to be. That's where you realize you're really, you really have no money. Because when you make a million dollars, when you make your first million, you think you're really rich mm -hmm. and you're not. When you make 10 million, you realize you're in this weird this weird in between, like at a hundred million dollars, really that's where you're like, I'm sorted for the rest of my life. And I know, look, for some people, they um, they would hear 10 million and like, okay, cool, I can live off 800, you know, put that into investments, live off, you know, a um, million dollars a year. It is what it is. Easy. But like, for me, like 10 is just such a funny number. Like, I don't think you're really wealthy yet. A million is really like, you think you're rich, but you're not. Uh, I think 10 is like, you're just on the cusp, but you're still not in that club yet. Um, so that's number one. And number two, um, it's the love of the sport. You know, like we play a sport, entrepreneurship is a sport, and the way we keep track is money. Yeah. And, you know, I was having this conversation the other day with one of my friends, actually. You know, if, you're, if you and I were 100-meter sprinters and, you know, we just beat our personal best and we put it up on our Instagram story, everyone claps. They're like, oh, yeah, you just hit your personal best. If you and I are entrepreneurs... And we just had our first million dollar month and we put that on our Instagram. Why are you showing off? Like, you know, why are you gloating? It's like, well, no, I'm proud of what I've done. Like mm -hmm. I'm proud of my accomplishments. And this is a barometer for how much value am I providing, right? Like how's the market responding to what I'm putting out there? Because that's what we do, right? We're in the game of business. Yeah. So for me, entrepreneurship is a sport. It's the most difficult sport on earth. Um, there's more competition than any other sport out there. Um, and it's a sport that's 24 seven, I guess you could say that about some other stuff, but um, there's no, never a time you switch off. Uh, and it's a sport with infinite possibilities. And it's also a sport with the longest run rate, right? Because when we're 55, we're gonna be playing at a much higher level. There's no one <clears throat> in traditional sports who plays at a higher level at 55 than they do at 35. So I like the sport, man.